It's the Andy Thompson Show on ESPN 97.7. Vegas Golden Knights. Go Knights a goal. Thanks for showing up. Today's Shower Thought is brought to you by WeWinInjuryLaw.com. I watched The Young Woman in the Sea over the weekend. It's about Trudy Ederly, who was the first woman to swim across the English Channel. 21 miles, treacherous, open water, jellyfish, sharks, darkness. It was fantastic. And Disney does a great job with their sports movies because it's a paint-by-numbers plot that they never deviate from. Girl who in the beginning can't swim, who's mocked, who doesn't have any friends, who's a poor migrant living in a time where girls weren't really allowed to get into the pool. Boom! We're all in. We must see her triumph. This is all sports movies. The triumphant underdog. It's what makes sports so great. This is why I have a problem with the Olympics, specifically basketball. Last Olympics, the women's basketball team beat everybody by 20-plus and won the championship over Japan by 15. They've won gold seven Olympics in a row. The men's basketball team, same deal. They've won gold every Olympics since Barcelona except one time. So you have to reorient yourself as a fan. We've been trained to cheer for the underdog by watching movies about the Miracle on Ice, Jimmy Valvano, or Trudy Ederly in The Young Woman in the Sea who swims the English Channel. But now as American basketball fans, we're forced not to cheer for little Trudy, but for the sea. That's your shower thought. We'll be right back.